All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video footage of the shopping in Nakano Broadway. There is a ton of stuff there. Uh, some of the stuff I picked up was, for instance, this car right here. I thought this was a very cool and unrealistic looking police car, but those wheels are just so cool. And so I picked this up. Uh, it's got a little damage there. But it is a very cool looking Tomica police car. The scale is 1 to 242. It was made in 2012. Uh, this is also named the Supersonic Runner. They can almost make a TV show out of a car like this, you know, Hyper Blue Police. Uh, but, you know, with everything that's going on in the world today, um, I know that they are not that popular at the moment. But anyway, um, let's get on with the pickups review so let's get this guy out of here and we'll start with our bag here now here we go uh in my last video i made a honda nsx restoration video and today i found this honda nsx from majorette number 220 ech 160 scale and this is a beautiful, beautiful Tomica. Uh, I'm sorry, Majorette. This is a beautiful Majorette. It's got a small scuff right here. But other than that, it is in tip-top shape. So it leads me to believe that this is a newer car uh, as opposed to some of the older ones, which are made in France. But I picked it up. It was just, you know, I couldn't leave it behind. Next is this one. This is very cool. It's a very strange zebra themed safari truck. And it's uh, it's got this opening window on the back, but there's no window, but it opens. So anyway, uh, this is a 4x4 Toyota from Majorette. And like I said before, this one is made in France. It is number 277, and the scale seems to be 158. It's very small, and I can't make it out, guys. But I do believe it is a 158. It could be 159. But anyway, so that's that. It's a cool-looking Toyota. So, you know, had to pick it up. Um, up next is uh, another couple of cool cars uh, this I have one already and now I have a second one is a Toyota light ace from majorette uh, ECH scale 152 number 216 now there's a reason why I picked this boring truck up but that'll be for a future video of course and I will get started very soon I promise uh, now unfortunately there's nothing wrong with this one it's really great shape it's brand new i mean it, it looks new and i think it's old but i'm not sure but it's the model that i'm after and you'll see why in the future so up next uh is this very cool made in france majorette mustang svo now i'm not sure what svo is so if you know please leave a comment down below uh down below is ech 159 scale this is a number 220 but look at those wheels i mean can they get any fatter those wheels are just ridiculous look at those wheels <laughs> it's uh you know those are some really fat wheels for this Mustang. I do believe this is an original and it is in really great shape. Uh, you know, it, I feel bad because, you know, the door in the back opens and you can see the funny detail on the inside, which is 
if I can get it just right, maybe you can see what's in there. It seems to be like there's a pair of shoes and a bag of some sort. I don't know if you guys can make it out, and I'm hoping you can. If not, I'll take a picture and add it later. But yeah, uh, no windshield in the rear. So when it rains, oh well. There's also a number stamped on the inside, 2122010. What that's for is maybe the part of the the uh, hatchback part number. So, But again, fat wheels. So, Okay, up next are two of my favorite cars. Um, very strange, but I found them. I don't know if these are newer versions or older versions, but I couldn't leave them behind. Um, I just thought they were too, too cool. Uh, this is a very strange <laughs> one, but this is a Toyota Celica 2.0 GT. Uh, now, it's very hard to see. There's, again, it's a majorette. Uh, it's very hard to see and make out, but I believe it says ECH 158 scale, I believe. And it also says number 249 is my guess. Again, they're very small writing down at the bottom. But again, uh, Toyota Celica, very, very strange. Uh, doors open, it's Toyota, number two. The deco is very strange. You can see on the back, it's stamped on the casting itself, Toyota. And the... <laughs> Those wheels, you can see right through the casting. <laughs> some wheels are too fat, some wheels are too small. So, yeah, very strange. But very cool feature, those doors and the headlights pop up. Close, open. There you go. So that is a cool feature for this Celica. Okay, up next is this one. One of my favorite cars, and I think most of you as well. Uh, a Majorette a Nissan 300 ZX Turbo. This is ECH 162 scale, number 214. And as you can see, this has a green windshield. Opening doors. Very cool. This is a... Um, T-top, the top is missing, of course. Uh, very cool 80s vibe design, of course. So I'm not sure if this is an original. It could be an original 80s, but it doesn't say made in France on it, but who knows. Also has the uh, pop-up headlights. Yeah. Uh, very small, but I don't know if you can make it out. I think it's got the Z logo right at the front right there okay so again very very cool 80s car uh, the wheels actually look decent for this casting and like I said it's a very awesome looking 80s or 90s vibe you know the the green interior uh, goes all the way through to the rear headlights uh, I'm sorry tail lights so Again, very cool, very awesome car, you know. All right, and now, again, I saved the best for last because I think these are the really cool pieces that I've never seen before. I don't know if they're new, but this is a caravan from Majorette. ECH 170 scale, and I believe it says number 325. Again, I can't make it out too well. It's so small. You guys can check it out. Okay. And yes, it has a opening door. So, of course, you need something to attach it to. And of course, that would be this very cool El Camino. Now, I don't know if this is the actual set, but when I saw it together, you know, I did pick up what I thought belonged together. 
uh, this cool El Camino. Of course, it doesn't have that matching set, but they do work. And those uh, tires really do match. Uh, again, like I said, this is just a cool looking set. I mean, you know, just it's time to go camping, guys. And I can't do that in Tokyo, but this is perfect for camping, you know. Um, sorry, guys. This is a Majorette El Camino Super Sport. That's what the SS stands for. That's for one thing I know for sure. Uh, it is ECH 159 scale, and this is a number 296, if I am not mistaken. Okay, guys. And again, like I said, this is a cool set. I thought that was so rad. Look at that. I mean, you know. Uh, unfortunately, you can't connect it to either of these sports cars. Or not even the Mustang. But that El Camino is just sweet. I don't like that big old El Camino on the side. Because an El Camino, you can just tell it's an El Camino. But that is just a sweet ride. You know, look at that. Let's go camping and let's go have a carne asada up in the mountains. So, last but not least, I thought these were very cool. They're brand new. I think these are newer models. And it's two of the same vehicle. This first one is Emergency Road Service number 24. The second one is a Jack's Towing. And uh, they're both tow trucks, of course. Uh, but... I thought this feature was super cool. And so what you can do, of course, is tow this awesome race car that I got with this set. And I just thought that was really, really cool. Um, again, you know, this is just awesome. Uh, awesome, awesome set, you know. Uh, anyway, so, you know... I've got the race car and I've got this tow truck. Now there's two tow trucks, but there was only one race truck, a uh, uh, tow truck, two tow trucks, one race car. So uh, again, this tow truck is a majorette Ford Transit ECH 160 scale number 243. So that's that. And I'm sure that that is the same for the other car. So you can... You can see that the only difference and, and no, actually, well, this is a darker blue. This is a lighter blue, but that could be due to the light. If I put them away. Yeah, this one, as you can see, is more of a bluish color than that one. And again, they're both identical. The only difference is that I don't know when which one was released when. The wheels and everything, it's the same vehicle. The only difference is the tempos. The, you know, you can see the side right there. The front and the other side. Uh, other than that, everything else is the same. And these also have this feature, which I think is kind of strange. But you can remove that interior cabin for some reason. Uh, either that is meant to be removed or it is just clipped in and is part of the assembly but that's what that is okay now and like i said again and it doesn't matter which one but that feature alone for me was so cool And that's what that is right there. Now let's take a look at what this race car is. This is a generic one, unfortunately. I don't know if you guys know what this is. Let me know. This says ECH 155 scale, number 262, Majorette. Now I would just deem it a Formula One race car. But if you guys know any better, please leave a comment down below. Uh, the tempos are really cool. Fiat. A G I P S F X S X F. I believe there's a small tempo down here. It says, I think that's Firestone. It's hard to catch, but I think that's what that is. And uh, on the front, again, a Gip uh, Web 
Weber and Mag Magnarelli, something like that. If you guys know, let me know. Okay, but once again, like I said, that is one cool set. You know, uh, I know Nuno Nico would love this set. I mean, it's these two sets are just so cool. You know, hey guy, let's let's uh, uh, let's go uh, camping out at the racetrack. Tomorrow's the big race, so let's have a barbecue tonight. So, okay, it's all cool stuff. Uh, this, these two sets were just so cool. You know, majorette guys. So anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't, please share, like, subscribe. Co please consider subscribing to the channel, and we will have, we will try to have more content in the future. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves out there. God bless you all. And I will see you guys on the next episode of the 5R Show.